Hey guys, it's day five and today we're going to focus on text structure. Um, I'm going to review real quick what you should have. Uh, if you've been looking in the grade book, which some of you guys have and I've gotten some emails, um, these are the things that I have looked at so far. So your Wordmaster Unit 11 practice, Wordmaster Story Unit 11 words, those were actually both graded assignments and those were from our Friday that we were out. You have a check mark or a zero for our News Alla quiz, zero indicating you have not gone in there and I do not have your score yet for the quiz, nor do I know which article you chose. And you have to use that article the rest of the time. So if you have a zero there, make sure you go in there today and, and do that. Um, and then I also went in and looked at column one notes. Lots of you guys have column two also, and I will update that today, okay? Uh, so that's what you should have so far. And if you're behind at all, make sure that you're watching my videos, okay? They are broken up by days. Um, and I also have a YouTube uh, channel that's being updated and I will send you guys the link or tell you how to get there. Um, I haven't figured everything out yet, but there's also a way for you to access the videos there because I know a lot of you have YouTube on your phone. All right, so today we're gonna go back to our learning notes E-Day, uh, E-Learning 10-Day Assignment Notes, and we're going to start on slide 20. That is day five and six. You'll notice that I broke these up into two days because today is pretty much a research and a practice day for you to kind of figure out where you stand on your own um, with uh, text structure. Text structure, you can actually Google and learn it that way. So this is not a new skill uh, that it was introduced in about third grade. Um, some of us just need some more practice and you just need um, to see it. And then you'll say, oh, I do remember a little bit of this. Okay. All right. So today we're going to focus on column number three, which is the text structure uh, column. Uh, I have set you guys up on your notes. So if you go back to your day three through eight sketch note, brainstorm pathway, open up, you will see, oh, let me scroll up a little bit here. You'll see day five and six text structure. That's where we are right now, okay? Um, I have given you notes, so click the link just to review the notes. You don't have to do fill in the blank or anything. You're just gonna read through those. Um, and then you're gonna practice. Um, I gave you Quizlet practice. I gave you IXL practice. I've had a few questions about the IXL because some of you have moved ahead, which is totally fine. Some of you are a little bit behind. Totally fine, okay? You can pace yourself, but just know that I am pacing myself by days um, to update my grade book so I don't get behind, okay? So if you had a question about the IXL, the reason why I started in third grade and ended in seventh grade is because some of you guys might be on different um, paths, okay? We've done pathways in class. You might be emerging if you were third and fourth grade, demonstrating fifth grade. Okay, do y'all remember where we clipped up? Um, so I gave you guys the option to kind of determine where you are as a student. Okay, just like we would have done in class. So you can, might, can start, start on third grade and say, Miss Owens, this is way too easy. Got them all right. Boom. Let's go to fourth grade and kind of see where you are to level yourself out. Okay, I don't care if you stay in third grade. That's fine. I would eventually like you to move through the IXLs, um, but take your time on this. You've got two days of practice. Um, if you're one of my kiddos who have already done that, you can go to test yourself. Test yourself, multiple choice Quizlet. Lots of you guys sent me your screenshot and I loved that. Um, just to kind of show me what you did. Um, the quiz is challenged. The grade actually comes to me so I can see if you need any more help. Um, some of you guys have already done that. Uh, if you are saying, Ms. Owens, I really would like some extra practice, um, you can find more options on Quiz Is. If you open up your own quizzes and just look for text structure, you can find a lot of different quizzes. Um, and I also show you guys um, text structure on FlowCab. So that's another optional activity for you guys. I know a lot of you like FlowCab and the Lyric Lab and, and the Vocab game. So that might entertain you a little bit too and help you understand it. Okay, so today is practice, practice, practice. You can test yourself tomorrow, and eventually I want you to get to where you can identify the text structure of your article. Um, so tomorrow I will do another video to help you a little bit further with text structure and see what you guys do today, um, and that will kind of determine uh, what type of video I need to make for you guys tomorrow. So today is practice on text structure, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.